what is up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nikki if you are new this is life with nick welcome in today's video as you guys see by the title i'm here to give you guys the best brunch spots here in atlanta i have eight different restaurants on my list that i'm going to talk about today so that is included based on experience um based on food those are all categories that i'm going to talk about today so before we get into the video if you guys have not already done so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified when i post let's go ahead and get into the video so as i said i have eight different restaurants here on my list so let's go ahead and get right into it so the first restaurant that i'm going to talk about is highly known and it's going to be the name of atlanta breakfast club so atlanta breakfast club is popping i have went a few times and i say this because it is highly reviewed um atlanta breakfast clubs has a lot of different dishes so you have dinner options and you have breakfast options all basically at the same time and they have really good shrimp and grapes that's probably like my favorite dish from that but that's besides the point you know their food is great and everything but the actual experience is what i loved about it i love the fact that everybody was dressed casually like you didn't have to just walk in there or whatever like with stilettos pumps in the club you know what i mean like you were you can actually go in there with some jeans and some tennis shoes on and still have a really good time without people looking at you sideways not only that they have a dj um inside most of the time but i went one time when it was actually like warm outside and it wasn't freezing like it is now and there was a dj outside so it's just a vibe i feel like you can go there to have fun get yourself some good food get yourself some drinks and not only that but just listen to some good music which is a lot of times especially nowadays hard to find so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and check out atlanta breakfast club so next we're going to talk about flying biscuit cafe so flying biscuit cafe has a few different rest it has a few different locations but flying biscuit Ca um, cafe to me is super cute just because right near the restaurant you're going to see that there's kind of like this little crosswalk that is just rainbow color so i'll leave it right here so you guys can see it but it's a nice little rainbow stepway it's so cute and i feel like it's perfect for pictures so if you're somebody who likes to take pictures that would be a great thing so you can post it on your social media and then not only that their food is bomb so obviously it's biscuit cafe so they are they're known for their really good biscuits and their dishes that come so if you want a chis a chicken biscuit if you want um a steak biscuit whatever it is they have that kind of biscuit and they come with just like really good gravy on it or you can get it without gravy or with jelly or whatever it is that you like but it's just a place to be um it's like a really colorful and like i feel like just really chill setting but the food is just really just tasteful and there's a lot of flavor options so if you're someone who's looking for somewhere to eat that has a lot of flavor you can go ahead and take those cute pictures with the little rainbow sidewalk go on and check out flying biscuit cafe so number three on the list is my personal favorite which is going to be the bqe restaurant and lounge so that was one of the first places that i went to when i came here was bqe um and it was just a vibe you know what i mean i was so nervous the first time i went to brunch because i always heard people talking about it and i was like what is brunch even like really but when i went i was like it was just so nice because the servers were personable they didn't make you feel like you were being rushed the wait time wasn't that bad and i went with like 12 people too so the wait time for it to be have been that many people was wasn't that bad and it was just a nice time like there's karaoke so if you're somebody who likes to get up and sing or whatever or try to sing they have karaoke not only that the music is bomb so they play updated music so music from today but they also play music from like the early 2000s and the 90s so it's just really versatile and it's just a vibe and personally when i go in there i begin turn because their drinks are really strong but they're also really flavorful as well so if you want that kind of vibe go ahead and check out bqe i will say about bqe though it's really hard to find par parking so if it's already popping you know what i mean it may be hard for you to find a nice free parking spot you may have to pay but if you get there at a decent time and you try to get there a little earlier you will be able to find some kind of parking eventually so next we're going to talk about a celebrity owned restaurant by the name of the old lady gang so the old lady gang is actually somewhere where i went with my for my birthday and please, for people who do not know the old lady gang is owned by um one of the girls from escape and her name is going to be candy so i'm going to leave a picture of candy but her family um and her aunt and her mom basically owns this restaurant or whatever so i went there for my birthday and it was really nice i actually got to meet one of her family members i'm gonna leave a picture here so y'all can see she's actually been on a few episodes of love and hip-hop so i had a little quick flex for y'all but um i liked it the old lady gang like i said i went there for my birthday and the food was really good it was like 30 dollars a dish um but it comes with a high quality so i had some chicken and some waffles and it was just good you know what i mean and then the service was also 
pretty quick. So I didn't have to wait a long time either. And it's a good thing. You know, I like the fact that she actually came to introduce herself to us. You know what I mean? It's not even like we went over to her and just like, oh my God, like, you know, like she makes it really personable. Like, hey, even though I am a celebrity, I can still introduce myself as the owner. So it was just nice. And it made me feel like she actually liked people versus how they try to portray her on the show. So next we're going to talk about, which is going to be number five, is going to be another one of my favorites, the classy and sophisticated Sundial Restaurant. So the Sundial Restaurant, for those who do not know, is one of the beautiful places in the world to me. Like, and I know I'm being dramatic, but there is this really tall building and it has like, like multiple floors or whatever. And at the very top of that building, at the middle of downtown, is going to be the sundial restaurant so you have to take a bunch of floors get on the elevator and take a bunch of floors up to the sundial but it's beautiful it's actually a restaurant that rotates so while you're sitting down eating your food it rotates and then it's just a uh, like a big glass circle window so the whole restaurant is a circle and it rotates and you can look out the window you can see the entire downtown and it's just uh, an amazing view personally if i was to ever get engaged i want to get engaged at the sundial restaurant i'll leave some pictures here so you guys can see but it's an amazing experience and the food is also really high quality so you're not going to go in there and just find you know like some french fries and chicken tenders you will go in there you will have like some steak but really good high-end good quality steak and good quality dishes they have lobster tails lobster and this is a place that you go you know not to turn up or whatever but just to have some good food and just to have a nice chill vibe so check that out i feel like if you live here you should at least one time go to sundial it's an amazing experience and it makes you feel like there's a lot more to see in the world so check out the sundial restaurants next we're going to talk about hobnob neighborhood ta um tavern so hobnob is an, like the second place I think I went to brunch to when I moved here. And Hobnob is located right in the middle, I think of like Buckhead. I think it's considered as Buckhead. It's in this really nice plaza. The one that I went to at least is in this plaza or whatever. So you can kind of make a day out of it. So even if you don't want to just go to Hobnob and you want to do some shopping, they have a lot of different stores around it. But I like Hobnob because when I sat down, I didn't sit down for long. It was not a long wait at all. And the servers were really nice. And not only that, they come quick with the food. And it's just great options especially for the drinks you know like their drinks are really good they have really good mimosas and the food is good um not only that they have a lot of different options so they have some vegan options and just some um you know chicken they have whatever you need whatever kind of eater you are they will most likely have something for you there at hobnob so Number seven on the list, which is going to be the second from last, we're going to talk about Murphy's Restaurant. So Murphy's Restaurant is something, um, actually one of the ones that I actually have not been to. And this one um, is one that I looked at on Google. So I like the fact that it seems really comfortable and it's really clean and it looks to be really classy. And I noticed that they said that in the reviews. Um, this is one of the places that you go to. You don't have to be too casual, but you also don't have to be too dressed up either. So you can go there. You know, if you want to look nice and classy, go sit down and have you some good food this is the place to be and i noticed also that it does seem family friendly so a lot of people in the re reviews talking about taking their family there which is great a lot of these other restaurants that i mentioned you know aren't as family oriented you know it's more of a turn up i'm trying to twerk in the club kind of thing versus murphy's is actually somewhere that you can take your kids that has good food as well so last but not least on the list, we are going to talk about South City Kitchen in Midtown. So when I went there, I got the lamb chops. And this was one of my like, not my first time, but I've only had lamb chops probably like five times. And this was probably like my fourth time having lamb chops. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Very good um, lamb chops. I know that they have shrimp and grits. My friend had some shrimp and grits and she said that it was good. Um, and then I also like the table seating. It's not like you just sit down and it's just dirty or whatever. Like they actually have nice glasses, nice silverware and stuff like that. And then this is also a family friendly restaurant. So if you want to go there and get your sip on, but have your kids with you, this is a great place to go as well. And then last but not least, they also have really great reviews on Google as well. So I'm going to go ahead and like I always do and go over the list again. So first we have Atlanta Breakfast Club. We have Flying Biscuit Cafe. BQE Restaurant and Lounge, Old Lady Gang Southern Cuisine, The Sundial Restaurant, which is the one where you go to the top floor, Hobnob, 
um murphy's restaurant and then sun city cafe so go ahead and check all those out i will leave each restaurant's website in my description box just in case you guys are not able to find it but go ahead and live your best life out here in these atlanta streets atlanta is really known for its brunch scene so i just wanted to drop some knowledge because i know when i came here it was really hard for me to find somewhere to go eat and for me to go brunch so i feel like someone out there may need this information so hopefully i help someone out there but if you guys can go ahead and like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already done so. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.